<clears throat> oh, hi. What is going on? You dirty old stash bags. I'm back out at the big lake. We're just on the other side of it. I'm gonna catch bait real quick. And I normally don't show uh, bait catching because it's kind of boring, but uh, I'll show you a little trick. When the water gets high, fish get shallow. And uh, green sunfish are a really good bait for uh, flatheads. And I've got blues on green sunfish before too. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is, hopefully, to catch green sunfish out of these rocks. I've already caught a couple and uh, caught them pretty quickly. So we'll see if uh, I can show you a thing or two about catching dirty old green sunfish out of dirty old rocks. To a lot of you, this isn't gonna be a secret or a surprise, but uh, yeah, I figure there's a lot of people out there that are new to catching bait, new to catfishing, that uh, this might help, so. Come on with me, let's catch bait and stuff, and then hopefully catch a long gun kitty cat, let's do this. Just wanna find just a little bit deeper impressions in between the rocks. It's actually easier when the water's down a little bit. Surprised that I've caught the couple that I have, but happened pretty quickly, and they let you know they're there. You drop it in, they hit it right away. There's no question. One grab it. Probably won't grab it again. <laughs> Little tiny guy. Let him go. He's a little small, but just right out of the rocks. Just take a little jig head, a night crawler, or a gulp, and just kind of swimming around right on shore. That's a crappie. You're supposed to be a green sunfish. Basically, just want to stay shallow. And that goes for the catfishing, too. I'm going to go up into one of the shallower parts of the lake, try to catch me an old giant. Last time I came out, it happened been more rain since then so hopefully there's still fish up in there no there's another one literally right on shore Eek. not very big but and every once in a while you'll find a deep hole that has a lot of them Oh, I guess beggars can't be choosers. He's tiny, but I'll make a nice little bite-sized meal. Got a decent one in there. Six, six, seven inch or so. You can catch decent ones doing that. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna catch a few more. Little tidbit of information for you. And then uh, I'm gonna go back up in the shallows and see if I can't get something to eat, uh, eat my baits and stuff and things uh, I turned my camera off for a second and I got something big I would guess it's probably a carp actually it might be a catfish I think it's a catfish Whatever it is, it's not small. It honestly might be a flathead. For once I hope it's not a carp. Oh, it's a channel kitty. They're definitely getting ready to spawn. I guess if that's not a good sign, I don't know what is. I was literally, I wish my camera was on, because I was literally poking in the rocks for green sunfish. And then, uh, yeah, this thing started dumping line out of my reel. Wasn't even moving it. I think he's hooked in the mouth. I don't really know, though. Yep, 
He swallowed it. Cool. On the board for kitty cats. While trying to catch bait. All right, you little whiskered dong, get over here. Let me unhook your ugly ass. I like catfish, but that is one ugly channel. The males start spawning, they get pretty greasy looking. Well, it's fat. Catfish are definitely feeding. Little bastard ruined my jig head. That's a fatty for the bait pole. All right, back to catching bait. I wish I would have had my camera on though, because I was literally just wiggling like that and Old kitty cat swam along and destroyed my jig head. Yeah, I guess it's not that bad. All right. Back to catching bait for a little bit. Just need a couple more pieces and then going back up into Narnia and catching a longer dong than that. But yeah, see you there. It's been an uneventful morning. I went back, back to where I caught that blue the other day and uh, yeah, tried for about an hour and a half. There wasn't much going. That's not gonna be in the video. You're welcome, because jack shit happened. I'm back to where I caught bait. And uh, I'm gonna fish inside this uh, marina cove. I fished it a lot over the years. It's kind of my confidence spot. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see if we can't get anything. There's at least channels in here, because I already caught one. Um, I'm gonna set up a flathead bobber over yonder way. And uh, just kind of let it sit there, I guess. I don't know if that's legal or not, but. I'm gonna keep a close eye on it. Then I also have my bass rod. I've caught uh, caught some flatheads on bass tackle. It's just a better way to cover water. So I'm gonna try a bunch of different shit. Hopefully I can catch something big. And uh, yeah, come along with me. Thank you for watching. Stick with me and stuff. Let's do this. Hook out. All right, so jetty ahead of me, bobber, about six feet down, about a six inch bluegill. It is uh, it's a little bit rougher than I was expecting. Maybe should have just stayed in the back, but never caught a flathead back there. But yeah, we're gonna pull up to this jetty, throw out uh, flathead bobber, start throwing some lures. See if we can't get bit by something at least. Let's see if we can get up here without hurting ourselves or breaking something. Alrighty, well, caught some pretty big flatheads here before, so hopefully today's the day. Plop out old Billy right there and find a spot to put it and go throw some lures around, I suppose. Windblown side's probably gonna be better, but I'm gonna start on the calm side. Cause if I can get bitten here and I won't have to deal with the wind, then I'd prefer that. Next time you hear from me, hopefully I'll be catching something. Or I'll at least be saying something stupid. You can guarantee that pretty much. My bobber's gone. Still gone. Still gone. Stay down, Bobber. Stay down. Nice. If I land this fish, it'll be a miracle. nervous is all holy hell. I hope it's not one of the ones that swim under the rocks. Sometimes flatheads, they pull your bobber down, but they just, uh, they just go straight back into the hole they came from. It's almost looking like that's the case, but let's stay positive. Also really, really, really big ones just sit there. Got him.
feel big, but you never know. Definitely a flathead. He's growing. Nice. He ain't huge, but that didn't take long. Didn't take long at all. Look how dark it is. I needed a little warm up flathead for the year anyway. I'm just happy we were successful. I can't believe this actually worked. Was fishing just kind of down this shoreline with an underspin. Propped my bluegill up in the uh, rocks not that long ago. And papow, that would be a flathead. Just nice to see that they still exist. Oh my God, he swallowed it. That dude wasn't playing around. Luckily, this ain't my first rodeo. And I know how to get it out pretty easily. There we go, it's out. All right, well, flathead number one for the year. Once again, I'm ghetto and I don't have a bunch of fancy equipment, so now the camera's sitting on the kayak, but uh, it's not a giant, obviously, but uh, first flathead of the year. Pow, we still got time too. This thing was only out for like 10 minutes. All right, I've actually never ate flathead before, but today is not gonna be the day. They're catch and release only here, and I'm okay with that, because I like them. Got him. It's like my little pet. Later, bud. Cool ass fish. One of my favorites, to be honest. I love flatheads, even more than blues. I like the blue from the last video better though because uh, it was bigger. Makes sense, doesn't it? No one's home. I'm home, but nobody was home in my nose. No boogers. Definitely wasn't a barn burner, but I did catch my first flathead of the year. Not very many people know this, but uh, flathead are probably my favorite fish to catch ever. I'm gonna be doing a lot more flatheading this year. I'm gonna try to do it during the day. It's a little bit harder during the day, but it, I only had the bobber in the water for like 10 damn minutes and uh, they went down and it stayed down. They're finicky little little jerks and sometimes they like to drop it, but uh, this one held on. Pretty stoked about it. I threw the lures around for flatheads for a while after that with uh, very little to no success. But yeah, if you like the flatheads, if you like the uh, kayak catfishing stuff, let me know. Comment down below. If you don't tell me, I won't know. So tell me. Definitely appreciate all the support lately. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate all the positive vibes. And uh, yeah, I'm going to keep on keeping on. Till next time, my friends, you have a very good evening, day, morning. I'm going to post this in the morning. Yeah. Okay, have a good morning. Bye friends, bye.